how's it going? So today and tomorrow I'm going to be adding another two 50 meter heating extraction coils to my dual pile compost system, um, compost heat extraction system. So I'm now going to have four piles in it. Um, long story short, the more coils I have, alternating between each coil, the more I have, the more heat I can extract because the longer you extract heat from one coil, in other words, the longer the water is circulating through a coil, the colder that water gets. So I want to have more coils and I only want to be drawing the water from each coil separately um, for the shortest durations possible to get maximum heat. So I, instead of having two coils as the current system does, I'm now going to have four coils and by doing that we'll get to see with my data how much more heat I can extract in the compost heat extraction system. So, so let's get started here. I'll, um, I'm going to make up two new coils now and later on I'm going to install them in the compost heap. I'm going to strip the compost heap down and, um, and install them and, and remix that compost and, and get, it, get it heating again. So let's get started. My two coils are now made up. Um, the only thing I had to make sure I did when I made them up was I had to make sure that they are well supported, the pipes, because otherwise the weight of the compost will drag them down and create kinks. So nice and easy. So I'll go out now and install them in the compost piles. First pile has now been cleared out. There it all is there. As for the compost, it's still a long way away from being finished, which is good. It's, um, still pretty fresh which means it's still going to get nice and hot so I'll now go and move this one out So I've now got my four four coils in. As you can see, I've connected them all up to the new valves. Uh, next thing I need to do is connect it up to the electrics, um, add some more, add another timer. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to fill these in until tomorrow. It's a bit late, but there you have it, four coils. So my piles are now full. Um, Electrics are connected up, valves are connected up. Um, I did have one issue, and this valve here, even though I've got two valves, the same valves, uh, is restricting the water flow a little bit. I'm not sure why, so I'm going to swap that out with another one. I've tried adjusting the flow switch, um, that hasn't made any difference. Um, and one other thing I noticed was these brass valves of mine, which I didn't have any spares, so I used these ones, which I was going to use for my irrigation um, system, which I'm going to set up soon. Um, uh, these lead more water through even though they're smaller. Um, they, they don't restrict the water as much as these ones. Um, so yeah, basic setup here is I've got my four outlet pipes all connected together here. They go back to the tank and then I've got my four inlet valves here. They're all normally closed valves. Um, feeding the quad coils, four coils. And that's the basic setup there. So um, I'll go and fix that up now. Okay, so a bit of an update on the system here. It's currently just about 11 o'clock at night. Um, it's been seven days since I remixed the compost piles and added an extra two coils turning it into a four coil system rather than a two coil system. Um, alternating between coils currently every half an hour I'm alternating between each coil. Um, so right now the water tank has been maintained at about 36 degrees which is pretty good that's I'm pretty happy with that that's three degrees better than what I have with the twin coil uh, system. So if I zoom out here, we can uh, see that. So you're about we're, we're maintaining at about 36 degrees, um, and this is real data. I haven't calibrated. I haven't changed anything. If I go into settings here, and we look at calibration here, and that's zero. 
if I was to change the data it would change um, as you can see there this number will go up or down so this is real data um, uh, what else here so it's also colder outside now than what it was uh, a couple of weeks ago so that's also the systems that also shows how much better the four coil system is working um, what else so I suppose the other thing that's good about this is this is also flow this water also has to flow through about 100 meters of pipe to and from the water storage tank to the compost back to the water storage tank that's and that's DIY insulated pipe so it's you know it's uh, doing pretty well not to lose much heat and hold its heat through all of that pipe um, what else here uh, the greenhouses greenhouse beds the bed I've diverted the water away from that at the moment so it's the same temperature as the non-heated bed at the moment um, because there's no heating in it at that moment um, compost 1 is 60 degrees Celsius, compost 2 is 52, uh, they're still both climbing, uh, 60 Celsius is about 140 Fahrenheit and 52 Celsius is about 126-ish uh, Fahrenheit. Um, it's quite surprising how long these piles have actually been able to been maintain their heat. It's been five and a half weeks now and I'm still able to get heat out of them um, and I've really just added minimum materials really just a couple of loads of grass cropping from the lawns, a, a, a couple of bags of horse manure and um, and some coffee grounds, a couple of barrows of coffee grounds so it's basically all free material really. Um, so here's where we started way back five and a half weeks ago and it's still going good. Um, in fact this time this time actually got hotter than the second time I mixed it so I, I made a good mix this time so I'm going to take note of that for the next mix that I do I'm actually going to add hay next time too and see how hay goes um, uh, what else here uh, as for the solar heater um, tomorrow is looking like it's going to be fine so hopefully the weather holds out because um, it's basically perfect timing to test out the system um, and its current capabilities because the compost is at its hottest and if I do get a fine day tomorrow it'll be perfect to test out the capability of the system at this time of the year so the thing about this time of the year is it is um, it is probably the hardest time of the year to actually generate heat because it's cold well it's not the coldest yet but the sun is quite a low angle in the sky um, so it's not as intense and the days sun, sunlight hours are a lot shorter so I'm currently only getting about six hours of usable sun and four hours of those are of the intensity that is good enough to generate a reasonable amount of heat in the system so if I was to do this in the middle of summer I, I don't know it'd be interesting to see what I get actually but um, yeah it'd be a lot better than what I've got here so um, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say for now. So tomorrow I'll update on it and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'll talk to you later. All right, so how do we go? So it's a day later now, 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. The water tank is currently being maintained at 37.5 on average, um, maintaining that at the moment. Um, as you'll see here, I'll zoom out a bit on that. So there we are, about 37.5. Um, once again this is real data um, I haven't calibrated it that's at zero um, so today we never had as much Sun as I would have hoped um, so we only got got up to about 39.2 um, but to be honest I've noticed that the hotter the water is in the system the slower the solar water heats it it's it actually doesn't heat it as fast as if the water was colder so in all honesty I don't think we would have got, especially at this time of the year, more than about 42 Celsius um, with the boost from the solar water heater. Um, so here was yesterday. Um, so yeah, the, the quad coil system is a lot better than the dual pile two coil system. Um, if we zoom out a bit here, this is the last six to seven weeks. Here's where we started where we didn't have any compost heating. Here's the first pile mix, second mix, third mix. That was when it was running through the heater beds. And this is with the four coil system here. So you can you can see the difference there. Um, 
So currently around the system we have 62.5 Celsius uh, in compost 1, we have 53 Celsius in compost 2. Um, and speaking of the solar water heater, um, I'm going to... So I've got three projects I want to do over the next um, three or so months. Um, so I'm going to make another version, third version, of the solar water heater. I'm going to do it differently. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'll do that yet. Um, but I'll post a video on that. Um, I'm also going to put dig down a well and until I hit water I might have to go 1.52 meters and I'm going to put in a centrifugal pump here I'm going to use that for suction and I'm also going to use it for irrigation um, so I'm going to be able to change between the two and I'm going to use this to the groundwater to top up the rainwater tank um, we get charged for water here so next summer I want to be able to have unlimited water um, the other thing, third thing I want to do is I want to put in another coil, another two coils to the compost heating system so there'll be six coils in that in total um, so I can get some more, even more heat out of that um, so I'll sort of decide over the next couple of weeks which one I'll do first I have a feeling I might do the well first actually um, and then and maybe the solar heater after that but maybe the compost will, I'll let you know, I'll, I'll post some videos on it um, so yeah, so that's how that's how that's how everything's going at the moment. So um, I'll I'll uh, update later on.